30 something degree weather, Carla, as the January thaw a few days late. <laughs> but be careful on the ice in a couple of days, right? Uh, you have any announcements this morning other than on February 19th, which is a Tuesday, we will be having a council meeting. Thank you. Just that the search committee will meet just momentarily after church. Bill yeah. saw his shadow and we're supposed to have an early spring. <laughs> yeah. He's right 33% of the time. <laughs> yeah. Michigan probably doesn't count. <laughs> uh, would you please join me in the call to worship? We have come to worship God, the living God. We all prophets and teachers to bear witness. We have come to praise God, the Almighty God, who answers the forces of hatred and hurt with the power of grace. We have come to worship God, all gracious God, who chooses even you and me to receive and carry the word of life and hope. All glory to God. Please stand and join me in the singing of hymn number five, or four thousand tongues to sing.
I'm not loud enough? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Father, we thank thee. Every one of us thanks you for what you have done for us. We ask, Lord, that you will give the blessing to those that need that today. We ask, Father, watch over every one of us. Keep us in your, your mind, and us will keep you in your prayers. We thank you, Lord, for what you have get done for us, what you have given to us. We ask, Lord, that you bless those that need thy help in any way, sickness and in health, goodness and in deed. Father, we ask that you hear us in our prayer to you, our Father. Lord, 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 heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you. I may have covered it, but uh, particularly, do we have anyone that we can think of that could use our prayer? Okay. Prayers for the family of Jack Rollinson, who passed away Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I would ask for prayers for my sister Karen, who lives in California. Uh, well, she's dying, and mm -hmm. I think um, she wishes and hopes for herself. And at this point, we do too, that it would be um, going quickly rather than um, continuing mm -hmm. in the state that she is. Thank you. Yeah. We all can understand that, of course, because we've been there with one another. Yes? Continued prayers for my girlfriend, Gina, who had quadruple bypass surgery and then cartoid surgery on her right side, and she goes in this week for cartoid surgery on her left side. Mm -hmm. I, Joan is not here today. I don't see, and I don't see um, Betty Ann is not here today. So again, continue to keep them in our prayers. I'm sure the weather has something to do with both of them. And our pile is home. So um, if you are happen to be going by, I'm sure she'd love a little visit. Have you seen her since she's been home? Uh, no, I haven't. No, I have not heard, so. mm. Good to know. Sorry, I jumped the gun. <laughs> Uh, my friend Joe Childers. He's a, he's a singer, and he's been singing at facilities all over Dallas State. He was just found to have tongue and throat cancer. So he has given to our elderly unselfishly. So prayers for his healing and that. I'm so happy to make it continue to sing. And also for my friend Betty Johnson, that she might be able to return home. I don't ask for prayers, but I just would like to give thanks. I got a telephone call Friday from my brother down in Illinois. <coughs> At Saturday night, they had a big party celebrating their 70th wedding anniversary. And I asked my sister, the same woman, he said, what is that? <laughs> and I'd also like to give thanks to God that I have survived these last seven weeks that I've been down with this stuff that I had. But I've been to the doctor twice in the last two weeks and he tells me I'm through it. So here I am, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, none of us need it, thank you. <laughs> Joey, yes. And Kurz, um, because Scott had his surgery, he's doing really well, thank you. May we bow our heads in the special prayer. Father, sorry we're not all together today. <laughs> Ask Lord that you bless each one of us. We are unique. We are one with each other. We ask, Lord, you have heard these prayers, these requests. We know the love in them. 
We ask, Lord, that you bless each and every one in their way. Help us, Father, to be a witness to you for what you have done for us. We thank you. In this name, amen.
Hell yeah. We always do. You if you forget your name now and then. And how are you? Glad to see you here this morning. Good job. The readings this morning, you'll see, are listed in the bulletin. I will be reading the first three, and our pastor will be reading Luke. To start out with Jeremiah 1, 4 through 10. The Lord said to me, I choose you before I gave you life. And before you were born, I selected you to be a prophet to the nations. I answered, Sovereign Lord, I don't know how to speak, I am too young. But the Lord said to me, Do not say that you are too young, but go to the people I send you to and tell them everything I command you to say. Do not be afraid of them, for I will be with you and protect you. I, the Lord, have spoken. Then the Lord reached out, touched my lips, and said to me, Listen. I am giving you the words you must speak. To die today I give you the authority over nations and kingdoms, and uproot and to pull down, to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. The second reading this morning is from Psalms 71, 1 through 6, if you wish to read along. Lord, I have come to you for protection. Never let me be defeated. Because you are righteous, help me and rescue me. Listen to me and save me. Be my rescue, shelter, and be strong fortress to protect me. You are my refuge and defense. My God, rescue me from wicked people. From the power of cruel and evil, sovereign Lord, I put my hope in you. I have trusted you since I was young. I have relied on you all my life. You have protected me since the day I was born. I will always praise you. And that was making reference to the prayer for the elderly. In the third psalm being read is from Corinthians 13, 1 through 13, if you wish to follow. It talks about love. I may be able to speak the languages of human beings and even of angels, but if I have no love, my speech is no more than a noisy gong or a clanging bell. I may have the gift of inspired preaching, but I may have all the knowledge and understanding all secrets. I may have all the faith needed to move mountains, but if I have no love, I am nothing. I may give away everything I have and even give up my body to be burned, but if I have no love, this does me no good. Love is patient and kind, it is not jealous or conceited or proud. Love is not ill-mannered or selfish or irritable. Love does not keep a record of wrongs. Love is happy. Love, excuse me, is not happy with evil, but is happy with the truth. Love never gives up. It's faith, hope, and patience never fail. Love is eternal. There are inspired messages, but they are temporary. There are gifts of speaking in strange tongues, but will they cease? There is knowledge, but it will pass. For our gifts of knowledge and of inspired messages are only partial. But when, it is, but when what is perfect comes, then what is partial will disappear. When I was a child, my speech, feelings, and thinking were all of those of a child. Now that I'm an adult, I have no more use for childish ways. What we see now is like a dim image of a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. What I know now is only partial. Then it will be complete as complete as God's knowledge of me. Meanwhile, these three remain, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. May God bless the reading. 